there welcome back to my channel so i was invited to participate in a collaboration um, by debbie with project 39 design and the whole purpose of the collaboration is to use up your stash and since that was kind of what i was already doing um, she reached out to me and asked if i would be interested in the collaboration i was like yeah absolutely um it's there were there's several channels that are involved in this collaboration and many of them i had not heard of a couple of them I was already subscribed to um, but I was excited to get involved so let me share with you a little bit about what I'm doing and what my goals are um, so this is the hashtag so if you want to participate um, and like you do um, Instagram posts or anything like that and you want to you want to tag us with ha ha uh, hashtag crafty goals 2024 we'd love to see what you're doing and how you're getting organized this year but the whole purpose is basically to just use up your stash and um, I, I have been enjoying that the last several weeks. That's what I've been doing. I've been picking a paper pad or a paper pack and just kind of showing everybody what I'm making with it. Um, I do have some other goals that I have included. So I wrote out my list of goals. I typically keep track of everything in my planner. Um, this is a happy planner planner. And so I will write down everything like my goals for the different weeks. I also, if you guys look in the description box, I'll have everybody's channel linked that's involved in the collabor collaboration. And one of the collaborators, her name, well, her channel is called Party Planner Papery. And she actually had these really cool printables that you could print off. And like there's a goal tracker and then also um, like where you can write out the goals and like what your just some of the details, which she leaves those blank. So you can kind of write in whatever you want to do and wh however you want to keep track. And these, um, the numbers all go up to 40, but of course you could like wipe them out and change them if you wanted to. But I thought these were really neat and I really like the idea of having a tracker to go with like what my goals were. So I wrote out for March my goals. So for week one, which this is kind of giving you guys, um, Usually what I do is I pick the goal and try to tell you what the goal is on Monday so you guys have the whole week. But now, like, I'll give you the goals up front. And then if you're following along and you like to work alongside me as I try to come up with projects for what I'm doing, um, then you can already have a sneak peek of what's going to happen. So week one, my week one does not start officially until this coming Monday. So I think that's, is it, no, this coming Sunday, so March 3rd is when I'll officially start this. Um, just because like I always start with Sunday and Sunday begins the week for me um, of like what I'm working with. So anyway, so week one will we'll start on March 3rd and um, we're gonna start with one partial six by six and then one full six by six. And then week two will be one 12 by 12 paper pad. And then um, week three is one six by eight paper pad and one partial six by six paper pad. And then week four is one eight by eight paper pad and then also a one six by six paper pad, like a partial pad. So I can try to use up my six by sixes because that's one of my goals. Um, and see, for see, I wrote those goals out here and then my idea was like, I'm gonna write down what the pad is, like whether it be Echo Park, um, like a baby one or whatever, and then the items that I get from the paper pad, how many items I made total. And then I put listing price, um, just to help me keep track of what, um, like if I decide to come back to this and was like, I wonder what I made with that six by six, then I can always come back and see like what I, what I priced it at. And I didn't have this one written down in the notepad, but for goal five, because the last, um, week of the month starts on March 31st. So I am going to use a 12 by 12 paper pack for that week. Um, so anyways, that's the, the main goals that I have for March. Um, my other goals are just to, which I stole this idea from one of the YouTubers I was watching, um, 10 minutes per day cleaning my craft room, um, just setting like a timer and working for 10 minutes just to get things cleaned up and straightened up before, well, either, yeah, probably before I begin actually crafting. And I had on here, as you can see, I had a no spin challenge, but it is crossed off. <laughs> It's crossed off because I was like, I'm not going to spend any money this month. And then I was like, wait a second. I think I need glue. And I think I need, I'm going to run out of glue and I'm going to run out of probably something else that's important for what I do. So I was, <laughs> I just crossed that one off. So anyways, 
Um, my other ideas were to make 100 junk journal kits, make 25 pin pal kits. Um, those are really popular items that are in my Etsy shop and things that I am always like stocking and then run out of. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and just work ahead on those. And then, um, I put clean craft room again, just so that I can get the whole room cleaned up. Really, I should have put organized craft room because that's, that's really what needs to happen. I need to organize my craft room and some of the things I have going on. So I have, um, the different goals. Well, those other, other side goals, I guess, listed in the tracker because those are more things, those are things that I can really, um, keep track of better in a tracker than just, you know, the other ones. Cause the other ones I couldn't put week one, week two. I don't know. Those just didn't make sense for a tracker, but these other ones did make sense to use with a tracker. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's what I have. That is my goals. And you know, um, I saw one of the other ladies, she had shared her, her like social media, um, improvement, I guess on her channel. And I thought that was a cool idea. I usually keep track of like social media. Don't look at my drawing. It's, it's really bad. Um, anyways, this is like my bullet journal that I've used before. I'm not faithful in using it anyways. Um, but so I was keeping track in February, the, I was the first day of February. Um, I went through and I wrote how many followers I had on each thing. And then it was neat to see the growth. So like on Instagram, I had 61 new followers just for the month of February, which is incredible because I don't know, I feel like it's, that's a tough area to get a lot of followers. And then for Facebook, I went up four, which that one's even more impossible. But YouTube, YouTube, I gained 1,779 new followers on YouTube or subscribers, I guess, just in the month of February, um, which was crazy. I had explained before that my whole goal for the, this whole year, like one of my, you know, goals for 2024 was to get over 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I, you know, <laughs> more than almost doubled my goals. So that's, that was insane to me. Um, and then even on Pinterest, I gained a new follower. And then my monthly views went up from 271 to 435. And then Etsy, I gained 24 new favorite. Or, uh, I don't even know what you call them, but when they favorite your shop, um, I got 24 new people that favorited my shop. So that was, um, that was awesome. And that's a fun thing for me to keep track of. So I'm excited to see what kind of growth my channel sees and my different, you know, social media platforms, how they, how they improve just for the month of March. So anyways, I hope that if you're, you know, watching this, that maybe that'll give you some inspiration, um, maybe to start keeping track of, your business or your channel, your platforms, and also maybe to set some goals for yourself that you can use up some of the, the stash that you have. Um, but anyways, I appreciate everybody who has subscribed to me this year. It means so much to me. And anyways, I hope you continue to follow along and have fun as we smash our paper pads this year. But anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.